everyone, it's Lindsay and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a simple check-in with my mid-year goals. Just kind of see how I'm doing six months into the year now and just sort of see how much um, more we still have to go. I'm looking over these now and I'm doing well on some of them, but not so much on some other ones. But let's go ahead and dive right in. Maybe we'll start with writing goals first. I only had two goals in the writing category. And my first one's really sad. It is to get a project pyro submission ready. I don't think this is gonna happen this year, guys, just to be honest. I'm only seven chapters into my second draft. And in all reality, my second drafts probably read like normal people's first drafts because my first drafts are absolutely like atrocious. So essentially we have a first draft that I'm only seven chapters into, kind of. <sighs> and I don't have that much time throughout the rest of the year in which I can work on Project Pyro. And I'm really sad about it because I love this project so much. The voice is just so, mm, chef's kiss. It's so like <laughs> gringy, gringy, grungy, and like Appalachian. And just, it's a gritty YA social horror. It's everything that I want that I'm not reading right now in that genre. But I also am trying to write professionally and make a living doing this. So I have to work on projects that are closer to making me money than this one. So unfortunately, Project Pyro has just been to the side most of this year. I'm hoping to get more time to spend on her later in the year. But yeah, yeah, I'm gonna fail this goal. I'm gonna fail the goal. That's okay though, it happens. You can't win them all. My only other writing goal was that I wanted to draft my middle grade option for Scholastic. I got a two book deal with Scholastic for these two bad boys right here pre-order and order links are down below. And in my contract, there's a clause that says my next middle grade book Scholastic gets to see it first and they could potentially buy it just based on like a pitch package. So like the 50 per first pages, a query and a synopsis. That's what I've been working on. And this is the reason that Project Pyro has kind of been pushed to the backside. I only have to get the pitch package ready before I could potentially sell it and, and make more money this year versus with Project Pyro, I would have to write many, many drafts, get feedback from beta readers, alpha readers, my agent, and then go on a wide submission. And that could take years and no one even knows if it would get bought. So because of that, we've been focusing on the middle grade horror that I'm going to submit as my option. And right now I have the first act done-ish. Like I'm not quite done with the pitch package, but like it's, t it's being tidied up right now. And I think very easily, since my first drafts are so terrible and sparse, it will be very easy for me to get a full completed first draft of this project by mid to late fall. So I have not achieved this goal, but I think I will be able to. Lord willing, the creek don't rise. Now, all my other goals that I set for the year are reading and life-related goals. So let's go ahead and start with some of the life stuff. Ooh. I make this first goal every year, and that is to unhaul my closet, get rid of old clothes that I don't wear anymore, that don't fit my aesthetic anymore, that just don't fit. And this is like my favorite goal to achieve every year. It just feels so good to get rid of everything. I'm pretty sure I completed this goal in the first month of the year, so easy, checked off, let's go. My second goal was to be more active with the charities that I'm passionate about. Now I've left this unchecked because I think it's one of those things that I wanna wait until the end of the year to like really reflect on. But in general, I have been able to be more active. I was able to do some charity work for Power of the Pen, which is an Ohio-wide children's writing organization. And I hope to do more with them throughout the rest of the year. I've done some stuff with my local library and I also plan to do some things with a local elementary school when the Scholastic Book Fair comes around in the fall. I'd love to sponsor some kids to be able to like, you know, buy some books. <laughs> Mine only, no, I'm just kidding. But really, I feel like that's not enough to check the box. I feel like I need to be more active in some way. I personally believe we all can be doing something for the community, even if it's not like giving money because not all of us are super rich. I personally love to give time and volunteer and things like that, but I'm kind of being a Grinch this year and not doing that as much as I <laughs> should be doing, I guess I'm more selfish with my time. So I'm leaving this unchecked until the end of the year and hopefully I'll get it together and be a nice, compassionate, giving person later on. My next goal was to go to England, which has been checked off. My April wrap up, I believe, is where I shared all of the footage from that. So if you'd like to check it out, you're more than welcome. But it was a fantastic trip. It was my dream trip. I always said if I ever sold a book, I was gonna take a two week trip and I did. <laughs> and it was fantastic. It was everything I wanted and more. I'm happy I pushed myself to do it. My next life goal is that I want to start a house saving fund. I have not done this yet, 
but I'm hoping to closer to the end of the year. I do get my next and last little chunk in from my deal from Scholastic when the odds comes out September 19th pre-order links down below and I would like to put a good chunk of that money up for this fund but yeah we've been in this little tiny one bedroom apartment <laughs> which is like five square feet for about 10 years now we outgrew it about two years in I'm just ready to own my own place that sounds really nice I want a backyard where my dogs can just run around and have fun and I can grow all of my witchy herbs <laughs> and not be stared at by the neighbors I would like a place where my office and my bedroom can be separated and I want to be away from people like I don't need to be like I mean a cave in the woods sounds lovely but I need to be not so crunched in the way you are in an apartment complex I would love to have some land that would be perfect but it, that's not always reasonable but even a suburban area with just a little bit more breathing room I would take that and those are all my life goals so let's transition into reading goals I love making reading goals for myself because it's just very fun reading is my number one favorite hobby it is the love of my life the air I breathe the moon and my stars and just to spice things up a little bit I like to give myself some goals to try to reach throughout the year my first reading goal was to read all of my 2023 anticipated releases and I've actually done really good keeping up with this goal. I started out the year with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight books that I was super pumped to read. And I have read all of the ones that have been released to date. I've got one last one. It's the second book in the Marvelers series. And that one doesn't come out until September 26. And then the other two, the fourth Morgan Crow book, we're just not going to talk about it. Okay. I mean, she just keeps getting pushed and it's really breaking my heart. Anyways, that one's not coming out this year. Under the Same Stars by Libba Bray, I think is also going to be coming out next year because I have heard absolutely nothing about it. Those two really aren't even on the list anymore. I'm doing great. Definitely going to be able to check this off by the end of the year. My next reading goal, and I do the same one every single year for the past three years, is to complete a buzzword-a-thon. I've talked about this a bunch of times, but this is just a fun way to spice up your reading, like I said, where you have a prompt every month and you just need to fit one book that you read into that prompt. I'm again doing really great with this. I'm completely caught up every single month. Sometimes, I mean, I might fit the prompt in the first or last week of the month before or after. It just happens. It's life. It's okay. But I'm counting it and we're doing good on this one. Next, read or delete all books on my Goodreads TBR added in 2020. I like to keep my Goodreads organized and not get too messy. So if a book has been on there longer than three years, then at the time when it has been three years, it is time to either read it or delete it. So this year I am reading all of the 2020 books on there. Of the nine that I started with, I only have five left, which isn't that great because they're all very large adult science fiction and fantasy. So I need to not be putting those off. Granted, I have plans to read two of them this month. Let's hope that happens. But I really need to watch it because I have been putting this goal off quite a bit and I've never had a problem in the past achieving this goal every year. So I don't, I don't want to start this year. And my last reading goal is to read or unhaul all of the physical books on my TBR from 2022. How I give myself three years with the Goodreads TBR. I'm even more cutthroat with my own physical TBR. Like you got 365 days and you're out of here. <laughs> Granted, I don't actually purchase that many books. Most of the books I read are from the library. That being said, there aren't too many books left to read. And most of the books that I do still need to read this year, I have plans to read them in certain months. Like a lot of them are like middle grade spooky books and I want to read those in October. I'm waiting to read those, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to do this. And that's really it, you guys. This was just like a quick and dirty little check-in video. I wonder, do you guys do anything like this during the year to like do you reassess your goals in the middle of the year and say like oh hey I need to work harder on this one or like I got this I got this <laughs> this is gonna be easy well, let me know down in the comments what is a goal that you still need to achieve by the end of the year whether it's reading life writing whatever don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next one with a bigger more thought out fancier video hopefully every now and then it's nice to do just something chill you know? So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!